Minasan Konnichiwa, this is David, and i um, just going to do a quick review of the Freedom Custom Kit that comes with Hobby Japan Magazine. Um, I just did an unboxing of it a moment ago, and it's a very simple kit, so I threw it together I wanted to show you what all comes with it. Um, basically, it is um, this chest piece, the head, the shoulders, and the weapons. That's it. Um, it's nothing really more than that. Um, the shoulders come in three different parts. It is this piece this piece and this piece this and that are interchangeable um so basically you can pop that off and put that on there and you have three little blades on the shoulder gives it a sort of ray effect which is cool also this piece right here holds two blades um, of which this and this or the blade portion of this are included um, also, this kukri-looking blade fits on there as well, but it actually attaches to the third piece, that shoulder bit, uh, which also has a couple of blades on it. So this is a very blade-heavy um, custom kit. Um, anyway, that's the shoulder. Then you get this chest piece here, which just replaces the standard version. Oh, dropped it. The standard version of the chest plate, which is that right there. You just pop it off and put that on there. And the head is, oh, let me get the head itself off. The head is very similar, but more extreme than the original Freedom head. Um, it's the same basic design, except it has big, huge vents on the back. Um, it has a much stronger profile on the side, a much starker profile. And those V fins are gonna be like three times bigger. They're huge. Um, gives it a much more sort of manga feel. All right. Um, now the real, the showcase here is the weapons. Um, this arm weapon, I think is kind of neat. Um, it's a little modular system and you see it's flush with the Freedom's arm there. That's actually not just being flush. There is a snap on there. So it's real tight up against it the way that you might expect like a Tonfa or something. And ultimately you can pop a beam saber in there and it becomes a beam tom tonfa. So it's kind of neat. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Um, also, the blade that is on here comes out. Um, it folds down. And so you can... Oh, the hands are not great. But they're just HG hands. They're not anything special. Um, and they're not a part of the custom kit. They're part of the, the straight up kit. They're just normal hands. Anyway, that folds out and you get these neat blades. Um, you can also reverse them. You can twist them because it's just on a peg there. Um, you could even put it on there with a beam saber if you wanted to. Now there's two of those. So you can do that sort of menacing two tonfa look thing, um, sort of, you know, Filipino martial arts. Or Let's put the freedom down for a second. Um, you can actually take these two pieces and put them together. And the way that you do that is the handles go inward and outward, so they're reversed from each other. And then there's these little pivot pegs. They're pretty tight in there, but that's actually a good thing in this case. Uh, makes them very, very sturdy. I actually didn't shave the pieces very well. Okay, so those are gonna pop together. And of course I'm doing something wrong there. Oh, there we go. No. Nope. What am I doing? Ah, there we go. I was just not being precise enough with them. So anyway, you have that right there. You can pop these down and reverse them. And you have this cool sort of dual weapon effect there. Um, or you put them back into their full and upright position. Make sort of a pincher thing, whatever. Or, 
or because these things are conduits for blades and beam sabers, you can pop two beam sabers into it and make it a weird sort of dual blade, dual beam saber fucking array of death. Um, theoretically, you could um, you could actually pop four beam sabers into it. That's what she, um, she wouldn't say that. No, she she really wouldn't say that. Um, you could do you could do two beam sabers on a, either side. Um, the freedom only comes with two, but I'm sure you have extra beam sabers laying around if you wanted to do that. Um, yeah, and if you don't, then you're a failure. I'm just I'm sorry. Um, I kind of like it in that configuration. Yeah, I, I I don't even know why. Anyway, this is the standout of it. It's a nice little weapon thing. Um, cool accessory. I, I like the Tonfa look um, that's going on there. And just like any of these other custom kits that you get with magazines or manga, um, they are they they really need some love. Like you've really gotta um, you've really gotta give them some attention. Um, you gotta give them some paint. This is probably doubly so for this one because the freedom really needs color. Um, the freedom does not need more white on it. Um, it's just like Hollywood, basically. Um, I know, right? Sick burn. Um, but it, it really doesn't need any more white. So you really got to paint it if you're going to do this kit. Um, and it's, it's an investment if you're, particularly if you're not in Japan. Um, but if you are in Japan, you know, it's still 1200 yen. Um, you want, you want to paint it. You really do, but it's going to love you for it. It's, it's, it's a pretty kit. Um, it's a nice expansion for the freedom. And so far I've really liked everything that has come out of Build Fighters Hono. Um, I am really, really liking the, the sort of fire motif that's going on with these kits. Uh, I think that it's great. And there you go. There's the Freedom with its custom kit, Matane.